How's the tea? Good. I can't take that water in. Oh, they did it. That's why I've been drinking so much lately. Like, I, I don't need to drink like that. I've been drinking like that because, fuck, I can't get away from her. She's stuck, and I gotta go deal with people too. And her, so I can't stand her when I'm sober around people. I'm like freaking out. Do you think <clears> you want to? Do you think you want to train again and do the whole thing with with Jorge, or were you just? It's a lot of commitment, brother. That's I don't have a problem with that though. I did. That's never yeah, been you, a fucking problem. I don't have a problem with commitment or any of that shit. What I have a problem is whether or not I'm willing to sign that dotted line. Wow, I'm going through all this shit. I got the girl. I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking fight if I have a girlfriend. Yeah. What the fuck I'm trying. I mean, I was like, I'm gonna give this 100, percent and it's actually gonna be 100 percent because I'm not putting any effort into, you know, anybody else but me. That way I can get this job done. So, you know. So you have a lot of people pulling, which I got you, man. Yeah, I don't have a problem with the, you know. Well, no, you've been you've been doing not, it your whole life. I don't have a problem not drinking either. I just I drink because before it was to go out and meet girls, and I was learned to do that really well. Not so much in Vegas, but Vegas is a place to kill time because I don't have to pay nothing in Vegas. Everything's free for me in Vegas. Everybody's on vacation there, so yeah, that, yeah, taking a fight and having a girlfriend. <laughs> so when Nick comes to New York, he loves the Russian and Turkish bathhouses. That's Nick and my son. Uh, great day. The interview where I gave him was actually at the Mermaid Spa in Brooklyn. And a lot of the times Nick and I talk, you know, I try to get as, the, the, the best I can on the camera. But I feel comfortable enough with Nick where I can disagree with him on certain things. I know he talks about not wanting to have a girl, but Kay, his girlfriend, right there, she really does care for Nick a lot. Tries to protect him from the fucking vultures that just constantly swirl in his world. So I have to tell him... You know, and it can be very uncomfortable at times where I have to say, you know, Nick, I completely disagree with you here. You know, I think Kay is, you know, really looking for your better interest. She, she kind of keeps things together for you. And these other guys that are circling around you, you know, um, you know, I try to keep my comments to myself, but I'm not a fan. You know, and sometimes that gets hard with, you know, famous people where, you know, a lot of times people just want to agree with everything that they say um, for fear that if they don't, you know, whatever the repercussions might be. But I've always felt that if you're going to be a true friend, sometimes you got to just speak the truth, and even if it's uncomfortable, you know. Uh, so I don't ever feel Nick has ever sat back and said, you know, Steve has given me the old fashioned banana and the tailpipe routine. He's given me a fucking dog shit sandwich. I, I've always just tried to uh, be a friend to Nick. And um, sometimes that's hard because I think I've pissed him off. And sometimes that's what friends just have to do. Anyways, thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. We have a lot more to come. And please keep in mind, this is seven years of footage, so it's a lot to cut through. It's a lot to, uh, it's just a lot, and I'm doing my best. And the comments, the questions, the support is very much appreciated. So thank you, and uh, a lot more to come. Take care.